So the test these sticks are broken down into six categories. Appearance, durability, functionality, feel, cost, and miscellaneous, which we'll get into in a little bit. So appearance. This isn't really important, but the sticks, they look a little bit different. The plastic dip is a little bit darker, and also you'll notice there's no logo. And if you take your time taping the sticks, you get a nice clean line. While with the Vic grip, it's kind of eh, not the cleanest. It's kind of wonky and kind of dips a little bit. But again, not so important. So checks for both. So another very important factor is the durability. So I didn't really know how to test this. So I just decided to rub the sticks. And this is what happened. So it's been about three and a half minutes and I started rubbing it with my finger. I started rubbing with my dirty fingernails and uh, then plastic dip started to give. So uh, either way, it took a really long time to do it. But either way, these are both really durable and I guarantee the stick would break before you rub through with regular playing. So we'll give a check to the Vic grip and a half check to the plastic dip. So how well does this grip work? So I tend to play with a thicker stick. So whenever I play with a thinner stick like these, these are 5As, I tend to, you know, drop them quite a bit because I'm not used to, you know, how thin they are. But the moment I picked both of these sticks up, you know, they were fine. I didn't really drop them at all. So check for both. So the feel of a drumstick is really important because, you know, a drumstick is a tool you use that you hold in your hand to make music. And playing with a nasty drumstick is really not that fun at all. And for anyone that's ever played with a cheap pair of sticks or a rough pair of sticks, you know what I mean. So the feel of these two sticks is pretty much the same. Now the Vic grip is a little bit smoother and uh, the rubber they use has a little harder durometer than the Placid Dip. The Placid Dip is a little bit rougher, but really not that much. And it has a softer feel than the Vic grip, but they both feel pretty much the same. So we'll give a check to both. So probably the biggest factor is cost. A brand new pair of 5A Vic Grip sticks costs $11.57 with tax. Now a regular pair of 5As costs $8.94. And then a can of Placid Dip is $6.30. So the DIY pair costs $15.24 total. So if you bought a can of Placid Dip for one pair of sticks, it wouldn't be worth it. But one can has more than enough to spray several pairs of sticks. So that's a check for Placid Dip. So last is the miscellaneous category. So color. Now Vic Firth only offers their Vic Grip in one color which is red. While Plastic Dip offers a handful of other colors in their aerosol can. Now Plastic Dip is a really popular product and I mean you can go out and go crazy and get these like flakes and pearls and all these other crazy colors. But honestly that would probably cost a lot and you kind of need some special equipment to spray it. But either way, you have more options with Plastic Dip, so check for Plastic Dip. So another important factor is the type of stick. Now Vic Firth only offers their Vic Grip in 14 pairs of sticks. And now there are millions and billions and bajillion pairs of sticks out there. So with Plastic Dip, you have really any pair of sticks you want, you can make your own grip. So check for Plastic Dip. So now, the one drawback of using Plastic Dip is you have to wait for it to dry. So if you use your time wisely, you can batch out a whole bunch of sticks at once and, you know, let them dry overnight. But, you know, either way, you still have to wait for them to dry. So we'll give this check to the Vic Group. So the real question is, which one's better? And according to this test, Plastic Dip won because it got six and a half checks, while the Vic Group got only five. So looking back on this data, really Plastic Dip should have got six checks, but I didn't want people to think that it isn't durable because when it comes to the everyday life of a drumstick, Plastic Dip is just as strong as the Vic Grip. So really the only strength of Plastic Dip is that you can choose the color and choose which sticks you use. So you're probably saying, well, what about cost? And really the difference of cost isn't that big. It's only like a, a dollar, which isn't that much. So if you were to ask me which one I would choose, uh, I would probably go with the Vic Grip. And like I said before, Placid Dip is an amazing option if you don't like Vic Fur sticks and you, or if you're sponsored by another company, or if you absolutely hate the color red for some reason. Really, those are the only scenarios when I would choose Placid Dip. So yeah, that's just a fun little experiment. Let me know what you think, and if you've ever Placid Dip your sticks before, 
Uh, I have a bunch of other videos about Placidip, and no, I'm not sponsored by them. But if you want to check them out, feel free to. I'll leave a link to a playlist. And uh, yeah, so thanks for watching.